Hey, what's going on? Ryan here with Intersection Records. So we are talking lineup changes in, in classic legacy bands. It was announced uh, yesterday that longtime violin player for the band Kansas, David uh, Ragsdale, is stepping down uh, for personal reasons. And he is being replaced by virtuoso violinist Joe Denizon. Uh, Denizon uh, was born in St. Petersburg, Russia, emigrated to the United States at age four. His father was a classically trained violinist. Uh, he started out on piano uh, and violin, um, played, plays bass. When he was 16, he says, growing up in the Cleveland area, uh, he joined Michael Stanley Band on stage and improvised at that point, realizing that he should stick with the violin, merge his classical jazz and rock and roll worlds together. And really the rest is history. He is considered the Jimi Hendrix of the violin. Uh, he is famous for leading the prog rock band, or prog band, excuse me, Stradivarius. He is one of the great uh, violin players really uh, out there now. He has played and performed with The Who, Bruce Springsteen, Smokey Robinson, Richie Blackmore, Cheryl Crow, to name a few. And he says this, as a lifelong fan of Kansas, I am overwhelmed and humbled to have been invited to join a legendary band. I have the deepest respect for Robbie Steingart and David Ragsdale, and I will do my best to honor and build on their mu musical legacy. Um, and, you know, again, we, we, Ragsdale's been in the band since, since 1991. In fact, I, I saw one of his first shows in St. Louis in 1991. He is a multi-instrumentalist. Uh, Ragsdale really uh, solidified bringing back violin into Kansas because Robbie Steinhardt had left uh, a few years earlier. You know, he played with the band for years. Um, he did over 1,600 shows in two different stints with Kansas. And David's going to be missed, but Joe Denizon is up to the challenge. He is going to, I think, put some more energy in the band. When you put somebody of that quality and caliber into a spot in a band, it can only just heighten the, um, their their musical um path. Uh, J drummer Phil Ehart says, we are extremely excited for Joe to be the newest member. We believe Kansas fans will enjoy what Joe will bring to the band. Um, and, you know, I'm excited too. I haven't seen Kansas in, in a long time. I have not seen them with their new newest singer who's been in the band for years and years at this point. Uh, check out Kansas. Check out uh, their 50th anniversary tour. Uh, that starts June 2nd in Pittsburgh, and it's going to run through January 2024. Uh, it's exciting again. Uh, we wish uh, David Ragsdale the, all the success in the world, and we wish Joe Denizon so much success in Kansas. Subscribe to my channel. We do shows every single day. Peace out. Be good. See you.